Hello YouTube makeup lovers. So I have a summer makeup tutorial for you guys today. I really wanted to do this look because the hot summer months are approaching. And I wanted to do a look that was beautiful, that was kind of dramatic. I mean, I guess this is a look that maybe I really wouldn't do every single day. Maybe unless I had like a fun event during the day. But it's definitely something that you can wear at night. But I wanted to do it with makeup that was sweat proof so I use a lot of products that are long lasting for example the foundation and the concealer are both waterproof and just with these hot summer months you know sometimes you still want to look beautiful and use all your makeup and you want to go all out and use your foundation but if you're gonna have an event maybe in the outdoors you really don't want like your foundation falling off or your mascara just getting all smudged so this tutorial has a bunch of products that are long lasting, they're sweat proof, tear proof. If you're gonna cry at a wedding, well then a lot of these products you can definitely use. I live in Miami and it gets so hot here all the time. And it's happened before where even, I even had like a birthday party in the month of April here. And it's already really, really hot outside. So I really wish that I would have had these makeup tips all those times that I did an event outside of my house, like for a birthday or something like that because you definitely feel that by the end of the night your makeup is pretty much smudged, gone, and it just does not look as fresh as it did from the beginning. So the foundation that I'm gonna be using today is the MAC. This is the Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. And this one, like it says right here, is waterproof. It's also oil-free. And I just really loved it. I really wanted to try it out. I love the Pro Longwear products. I love the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And I read some reviews about it and I was sold. And then when I finally tried it, I ended up liking it a lot. It's not a foundation that I would wear every single day. It is pretty thick. It does offer medium to full coverage, but that's something that I don't really need all the time. So I kind of try to go more towards the medium coverage because I feel it just looks more natural but this does definitely stays put and that's what I like about it. I also really love the packaging. It's very convenient and it's something that will be really great for travel. So this is a foundation that I'm gonna be using today and it's definitely gonna help my makeup stay put. I've read reviews of people who actually wore this to the beach. I personally, I never like to wear makeup to the beach. I just kinda like to go all natural and I just apply my sunscreen but in those reviews that I read the people went in the water they were swimming around in the ocean and the foundation stayed put but for me I really wanted it for mainly like if you're gonna be hot and sweaty or maybe for example where I work a lot of times we go out to lunch and then we walk outside we go walking to lunch and then maybe you have to walk a couple blocks and in this hot weather in those two blocks that you walk you sweat so much and then you kind of still want your makeup to look good. You don't want to feel like your makeup is just dripping all off your face. So really excited about trying this foundation. And then for the concealer, I got the Makeup Forever. This is a full coverage extra extreme camouflage cream. This is also waterproof. Again, same thing. This is a great concealer. It's waterproof. It's going to stay put, but it's not a concealer that I would wear on an everyday basis. So pretty much these are two products that I love having when I have those special occasions that I'm gonna be either a place that's gonna be outdoors or just during the hot summer months or maybe I'm on vacation on a cruise and I wanna get dressed up and we're gonna be getting drinks outside in the bar by the pool, I don't know. Just for things like that, I feel like I would wear these products. They're great products, um, not daily products for me, but they're great products to have in your collection in case they can come in handy one day. I also use a lot of Milani products in this tutorial. I have been totally testing out all these awesome Milani products that I have heard are amazing. I do have some of these Bella eyeshadows. I also use the Milani Delicioso Pink Blush. And I'm very excited about the lipstick. I got this matte lipstick from Milani. Um, I know that the regular line of Milani lipsticks is very popular and they're supposed to be great, but I personally can't stand the smell. It's just too strong of a smell. I bought one color, the color looked beautiful, but just the scent was just way too strong. So I just really never wanted to try those again, but I really like this color and the matte lipsticks do not have that scent. 
So I was really excited about that. And I'm definitely going to buy some more of these because I really like it. Even though I use it with a lip gloss, it's still a beautiful lip color. And like I said, it doesn't have that strong scent that the other Milani lipsticks have. And I think that the cherry on top is the eyeliner I use. This is the Anastasia Waterproof Cream Color in the shade Ice Blue. I actually saw this on a makeup tutorial by Jaclyn Hill. And she used this on the waterline. And I've always loved that pop of color on the waterline. I do it a lot. I usually do it with my eyeliners. Usually the ones I use are the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eyeliners. But I don't have this color in any liner. And I just love this color. So I thought, oh my God, I have to get this and try a look using this on my waterline. So I did test it out. It felt great on my waterline. It did not budge at all. So uh, my eyes are pretty sensitive and it worked on me. So I would definitely just be careful and of course, you know, test it out on your waterline and see how it works for you. But I definitely think I'm gonna go out and buy more. I may even go buy the black one because it just glides on so nicely on the waterline. So the first thing I'm gonna apply is the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. And I'm just gonna spritz it on my face. Next, I'm gonna moisturize a little bit with my Fresh Rose Hydrating Gel Cream. I'm just gonna add a little bit just so that my skin is nicely moisturized. And it's gonna make the foundation look very nice when I apply it. So since this is a summer look and if I were in Miami, which is where I live going out in the summer, I definitely wanna protect with some sunscreen and the foundation that I'm gonna to use today does not have sunscreen. So it is important to apply some. That is the Tarte Guard sunscreen. So while everything that I have applied on my face starts drying and setting, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my eyes. First, I'm gonna prime them with my NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. This is a really good one. Whenever I use this one, I never crease. And I am also gonna apply a little bit on the bottom because we are gonna put some eyeshadow there. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Color Tattoo in the shade Gold Rush. I was about to say Gold Metal. It's the Color Tattoo Metal in the shade Gold Rush. And I'm gonna go in with this Sigma Pointed Precision Brush. And I'm gonna apply this color tattoo on my lid. This is gonna be a nice base for the shadow that I'm gonna use on top of it. Next, I'm gonna go in with this Milani. This is the Bella Eyes Gel Powder Eyeshadow. And this is in the shade Bella Gold. And I'm gonna apply that with a Sigma E55 brush. And I'm gonna pat that color over the paint pot. Not the paint pot, the Maybelline 24 hour cream eyeshadow that I just applied. my MAC Vanilla, which is an all-time favorite, and I'm just going to add some to this area below the brow, just to make that a nice area for the colors that I apply on the crease. Next, I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. It's a very beautiful palette. This is the I one, and this is what it looks like. It has very beautiful colors. I've swatched it before, but I really haven't used it until today. So the very first color that I'm gonna use is this one right here, and this is with a Sigma E25 blending brush, and I'm gonna apply that color on the crease. It's like a peachy color, like a peachy tan color. Next, I'm gonna go in with this second color right here on the palette and the same brush and just apply a little bit more to the crease, kind of like in the middle between the gold color that I applied and then the peachy color that I applied on the crease. 
And then I'm gonna go in with this one right here, and this is a more pointed brush. This is the E45. And I'm gonna apply that to the outer corner. Now I'm gonna take this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eyeliner. This is in the shade Lucky. It's like a copper color. Um, I think I discontinued this, unfortunately. So any coppery eyeliner will do. And I'm just gonna apply this on the lash line. I'm not applying it on the waterline because I'm gonna put something else on the waterline. So do not touch the waterline because then it's gonna get dirty for the next product that we're gonna add. And I am going in a little thick because I'm gonna put some eyeshadow on top. Then with this other eyeshadow from Milani, this is Bella Copper. And I'm gonna use this E17 brush from Sigma, which looks like this. And I'm gonna apply this Bella Copper over that liner that we just applied. Then I'm gonna take Max Nylon and this Mac 214 brush and apply nylon to the inner corner. Now for the waterline, I'm going to go in with this Anastasia. This is waterproof cream color in ice blue. And I just love this color so much. So I'm going to apply this to the waterline with a brush like this. This one is from Sigma. And it has the old number on here, so I don't know what the new number is. It says 212, but I know that's not the number. And I'm just going to go in and apply this to the waterline. On the top lash line, I'm gonna be using Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner. This one is in Mad Max Brown. And I'm just gonna shake it a little bit and apply it to the top lash line. be using the Stay Flawless 15 Hour Primer to prime my face. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply the foundation. And this is the MAC Pro Longwell Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. And this is in shade NC25, and it's not focusing for you guys, there it is. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. I'm going to dot it on my face. That's one of the cons with this um, staple primer from Benefit is that um, it sets really fast so you kind of have to apply the foundation quickly. It's kind of a pain for me actually. Usually when I do it I apply half to the face, like one half first and then the other half. But I didn't feel like doing it today. I went with shade NC25 for this foundation just because I was between this one and NC30. But they recommended that I go at the store, they recommended that I go with NC25 just because this foundation does oxidize and it's gonna get a little bit darker. Now I'm gonna do my fabulous concealer routine and first I'm gonna apply a little bit of moisturizer on the eyes. This is the Fresh Creme Ancienne. I'm gonna apply my Eve Pearl Salmon Concealer. This is in the shade Tan. And for concealer, I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever. This is the Full Cover Concealer. This is also a waterproof concealer. I got shade number six. This is a very thick concealer. It does stay put but you definitely have to apply just a little bit. Um, a little bit goes a long way. It's very thick. Again, not something that I would use every day, but it is something that is gonna stay put in hot weather if you think you're gonna be sweating. And I just 
think it really works well in that way. I'm gonna blend the concealer in with a tapered kabuki brush. This is the F86. And to get a little closer to the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with this precision angled and just make sure that everything is blended. To set my concealer, I'm gonna go in with this Ben Nye Pretty Pink Translucent Powder. I got this because I wanted to test it out I just got it recently and I'm just kind of still testing it out and it seems to be working. Um, it's pink and it reminded me of my Benefit Powder Flage, which is this one right here. And that one got discontinued and I was really upset about it. And it was my favorite setting powder. And then I Googled pink powders and this one popped up. So I got it on Amazon. And I'm just kind of testing it out and it seems to be working pretty well. I'm gonna set the face makeup with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Medium. And this is a Sigma Large Powder Brush. This is the F20. And honestly, this foundation seems to have set nicely. So I need very little. I'm just, you know, I barely have tapped it. I'm just dusting very little all over the place. Now I'm gonna bronze a little bit and I'm gonna use the Soleil Tan de Chanel. And this is the Bronze Universal. I'm gonna apply that with this Kabuki brush. Before I do my blush and highlight, I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is in the shade Taupe, and I'm gonna do my brows. And with the other side, I'm just gonna brush them out a little bit with a little spoolie. And then I'm going to apply some Great Lash from Maybelline. This is some clear brow gel. Oh, something I forgot to do. I want to go in with a little bit of um, some eyeshadow under the brow to highlight it a little bit. I'm going to go in with this Sigma Performance E21 brush. I'm just going to take this color right here and apply some under the brow. I wanted to use the one from the palette because it's not shimmery. And since I already have so much shimmer on my lid, I don't want so much shimmer under my brow. For blush, I'm gonna use this Milani Baked Blush. This is in Delicioso Pink. And this Large Angle Contour Brush, which is the F40 from Sigma. By the way, if my hair is looking a little crazy, it's because I curled it and I haven't brushed it out yet with my fingers. So that's why it's all Goldilocks. Now time for some highlight. I'm gonna go in with this Becca Highlight in Opal, which I haven't had for too long, but it is just so beautiful. Look at this amazing highlight. It's just so pretty. And I'm gonna apply that with a brush like this. This is also from Sigma. This is the Tapered Highlighter Brush. Just gonna tap it a little bit, apply some down the center of the nose. This is like J-Lo Glow. Now it's time for mascara, and I'm gonna use the Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express, and this is the waterproof one. I'm gonna apply it on the top and the bottom lashes. For the lips, I'm gonna use this Milani. This is the Matte Blissful Lipstick in number 62. It's a beautiful pink like that. It's a very different pink that I don't really have any type of pink like this, even though I have a gazillion pinks. And that's why I bought it. I'm not huge on the whole matte type of lip, but I'm using this today because I feel that the matte lipsticks last a little bit longer. And even though I'm gonna apply a gloss on top, even when the gloss does wear off, your lips are still gonna have a nice pink color to them because of the matte lipstick. For gloss, I'm gonna use Max Oyster Girl Lip Gloss, 
And I'm using these because they're very sticky and it makes the gloss last a long time. So that is pretty much it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this summer makeup tutorial and that you try out this look. And as always, I want to say thank you so much for watching Be Lounge Makeup. Bye!